Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Marge from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And I am birding today with Ted and Pauline from London, Ontario. And we are getting very lucky. These are cormorants. Now, there's one here on the right, which we're looking at. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Look at this beautiful bird. Now, what's odd, they have very thick feet, almost like a duck. If you look, I'm going to zoom in on the foot. I don't know why the bird has one foot up in the air. You know, I always worry. I'm like, oh, God, this bird's hurt. But, um, you know, when we first all came upon these birds, we thought, oh, these are in hangos because they also have to dry their wings up on land. Uh, they don't have the oil capacity to put on the wings to protect them, so they're forced to dry up on land. Now, this is a great blue heron, and it actually flew in. Unbelievable. We've seen quite a few great blue herons today. We've seen massive alligators. And we're at the area called Lake Mary and Lake Joe in the heart of Sea Pines Forest Preserve. And I'm going to zoom back in one more time. Look at these cormorants. Um, they're all jumping into breeding season. And how do we know it's a cormorant? If you look at the yellow underneath the chin here, and look at the end of the beak, it's curved downward because they dive in to get the fish. Um, if you see an anhinga, they, the anhingas have... Um, a less stocky body and their beak is sharp like a dagger look at this bird looking around unbelievable so again these are called double crested cormorants now when they start uh, breeding they will develop little feathers look at the guy in the background we're gonna zoom in on him swimming um I know the anhingas they also call them snake birds but these birds also are similar with the the head out of the water all right everybody we're signing off live from Hilton Head Island it's Karen Martz.